So today we are going to see how to create Maven based projects in our STS ID or Eclipse ID. So for creating Maven based projects, first we need to configure Maven in our machines. So as I am using Mac OS machine, so I will be configuring the same in my Mac OS machine. So in the previous video, I have already shown you guys how you can download and configure the Maven on your machines. So you can watch the previous video or I will be providing you a video description or video URL at the end of this video. Okay. So moving forward, what is Maven? So basically Maven is a build automation tool. Usually we can create project using Maven in Java or in any other languages. So Maven is a project basically provided by Apache software. So I have downloaded and installed the Maven 3.8 version okay and configured the same on my mac os machine so for creating maven project we need to also have an id installed on our machine you can either use eclipse spring tool suit or intellij so whichever id you wanted to have on your machine i have already shown you all those videos like how to download and install and start any project on your machine so you can also go to my channel and watch those video to download and install those ides so let's start creating a maven project so we need to go to this file option and click on new and just click on other and search for maven and maven project click on next next so in the catalog box it will just take few seconds to just download the list of catalog so we need to select the group id starting with org apache maven quick start so basically quick start is you know used for creating a core java or spring core or any hibernate project so currently i'm going to show you how to create and configure the spring core project so just go to org apache okay maven okay maven dot archetype so this one so we need to click on this quick start artifact id and version 1.4 if we need to create a core spring or core java or a hibernate project but if you are working on any spring mvc project then you need to click on this maven archetype web app i will be providing both of this information in the video description also so that you can just found or you can just filter out these in your maven prompt okay so i'm just clicking on this archetype project as we are going to create a core java or core spring project but if you wanted to have a spring mvc project then you need to first download and configure a server either tomcat or any web server okay so in the next video i will be showing you how to configure the tomcat and how to create a spring mvc project so in this video let's go ahead and create a core java or core spring project so click on next put an artifact id or project name so i am just giving it first app and finish so it will ask you a prompt as i have selected the interacting or interactive mode in which it will ask your permission to either you wanted to create a project or not so i'm just writing yes you can write in either small y or caps y it doesn't even matter okay so build success now just go to first app and open the pom.xml so what is pom.xml so pom.xml basically stands for the project object model in the maven and basically it's a fundamental unit you can say of maven it's an xml file basically it contains the specific information related to your project it contains the dependencies plugins properties and other information regarding to your project so you can see it contains the group id artifact version name version 0.0.1 name and url about your project's website and the properties as you can see the compiler source and targeted 1.7 let me change to 1.8 you can change to any jdk version you wanted to have just save it go to your project maven and just update the project so you can see here now it's java 1.7 and after updating the project it will change to 1.8 okay so now let's add some dependency here 
so as i have already told you i'm just going to create a spring core spring project so i'm just going to add only one dependency so for that you need to go to mvn repository and just search for spring context spring context i will also provide you this mvn repository url or spring context so that it will be easy for you guys to just go and just pick cherry pick this repository or just maven dependency okay so just click on this version and just copy this dependency just go to your sts and add it here okay and just update it as i have already told you like i'm going to create a core spring project so i haven't added any core spring or you know any other dependency like spring beans spring up or any other dependency i have added only spring context so this spring context basically contains all those dependency related to core spring you just need to control click on your windows or just command click on this spring context now it will open you all those dependency it contains you can see it contains spring up aspect oriented programming spring beans spring core spring expression and all other dependencies you wanted to have on your project so now just go to spring app java app and just check application context you can see it shows you a prompt of application context means our application or spring has already been uh, configured on our project okay but one thing you need to remember while creating a spring core project you also wants to have a spring.xml on your machine so for that just go to src and just main and just create one folder name as resources inside this you know i will be creating one xml spring.xml basically you guys know that spring.xml or application dot properties heard of in spring boot we create spring dot xml to have our specific uh, configuration or beans or we need to define some beans here okay so it's bit uh, spring dot is basically allow us to configure the beans using these java classes okay so these xml configuration in today aren't used much but i'm just showing you so that you guys know about it anyways we are going to you know work and use annotation based spring moving forward so i'm just uh, showing you like uh, how to create a spring dot xml okay i need to select an xml file i'm just naming it as spring dot xml just going to sources okay and uh, i have already you know just copied spring.xml from my another project so i'm just going to copy this and just paste it here okay so what exactly this means so this context component scan starting from below it means that it will scan in your package so i'm just going to change it com dot apps or com dot gpr dot apps okay so basically this component scan you know will search in your package you define in your spring dot xml to you know search all the specified classes you annotated with the spring annotation and this context annotation config this line of code means that it will activate the annotation in your already registered beans in your applications you can also do these two things in your java class by using annotation in a specific class in a configuration class but i'm just going to show you how to work with spring.xml okay so in this way we configure the spring.xml and now just start and just run this class it will basically run i haven't uh, done or do any you know spring or used any spring configuration or you know spring annotation here so for that we will be doing in our next video for this video i'm just 
shown you like how you can create a maven based project for core java or you can also create with spring mvc or hibernate in the same way we can create a hibernate project but in pom.xml instead of spring context you can use the hibernate dependency so in next video i'm going to show you how to create a spring mvc project how to run this spring mvc project configure tomcat on your machine and how to create a basic you know spring controller and just create a get and post api and run on it okay and in moving forward i will be showing you the hibernate tutorials and core spring tutorials so that's it for today thank you guys